Sorry. Dan Ireland. Aaron Michael Thompson. Cheers. Cheers. Welcome. Oh, it's a thrill to be here. Well, before you moved on to make movies as a filmmaker, yeah. during your time at SIP, yeah. give us just a few highlights of some of the premieres. Alien, um, Raiders of the Lost Ark, uh, The Road Warrior, um, Blood Simple. Yeah, no, those are those are the big ones. I mean, but we did a lot of Dutch films, and you know, and we were very instrumental in launching, you know, the career of Paul Verhoeven, Rucker Hauer. Hey, come not only are you a founder of this festival, you're also a phenomenal filmmaker. Let's talk a little bit about the work. Are you, are you chipping away at anything? I've always wanted to do... Well, first of all, everyone was like, you really are funny sometimes. Why don't you do a comedy? And I've gotten that from my friends a lot. And um, instead of... I think most every film I've done, the characters die at the end or are yes. in the middle. But few know that behind the fantastic adventures, there was an extraordinary story. I gave people advice on everything. Life is about moments. When you find a good one, you don't let it go. Uh, I decided that I wanted to do something that was celebratory. And um, from my film, this is Paul Free at the Claremont. One of the things that I loved was like, making that film for that audience that like were so amazingly appreciative and um, so full of love and I made it for my mother. Now an accident has begun an opportunity. I would be delighted if you would come and have dinner with me one evening. And so I came up with this very kind of strange little comedy called Mr. Lively and um, and and that is my next project, and I start shooting it, I think, in September. Congratulations. Thank you very much. I never thought that I would be a film director. I never planned to be a film director, and I don't know how I got there, but I'm just glad, I'm glad that I did. But I never would have had that journey had I not, you know, been part of SIF and, you know, starting it and, and being there and working with filmmakers and mm -hmm. actors and, I am, I remember the guests we had, like Daniel Day-Lewis here from My Beautiful Laundrette. What kind of work is it? And you can start by cleaning those bastards out. Now? I want everything done now. That's the only attitude if you want to do anything big. The genesis of what we now know as SIF how did it come about? How did you found this? When Daryl and I moved down from Vancouver, one of the things that we had in mind was starting the festival. It was on our minds from day one, and we didn't want anyone to jump us. So, I mean, meaning take the festival away from us. So we were very quiet about it. And we went and made deals for films with the stipulation that no one could mention it. So when we hit the press with it, like in April, before we opened in May, we had the posters printed, um, we had 28 films booked, it was over 14 days, and people were blown away. Um, we got to the point, the festival, um, that it was, uh, it was something that everyone started looking forward to it, and most, mostly us. So. As we still do. Oh, well, Perfect. and it's like you, you still got, got to top it. You got it? Good. Yeah, that's great. Good. They were trying to cut us. Cool. Thank you. They're trying to cut? Just go cut! <laughs> you know the word's cut! <laughs>